Hi, and welcome to the first video of my YouTube channel. Today we'll be finding the derivative using the limit definition, which is below. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f, f of x all over h. Now, you should already be familiar with this if you're just looking this up as review, or maybe you just want to learn some uh, calculus from scratch. But, uh, does it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just gonna. I'll do a few problems and step by step, so you can see how to do it. All right. So we have. We're going to solve 3x plus 1. Now this should be extremely simple. What I like to do is break it into individual steps as I go along. So first, we we already know that f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. So what we have to do is well. Also, we need f of x plus h, which all you do is, wherever the x is, you just put x plus h in there, in that place. So it would be 3x plus h plus 1. Simple enough. Now you just plug these two back into the top equation. You have, I'm going to distribute it on the fly. So we'll have 3x plus 3h plus 1 minus... 3x plus 1. Now I put in parentheses because you don't want to forget to distribute the negative there. Um, don't forget to put it over h. So now once you distribute the negative, you get 3x plus 3h plus 1 minus 3x minus 1 all over h. Now it looks like the 3x's cancel, the 1's cancel, so we're left with 3h all over h. Now the h's as well cancel, so we're left with 3 as our answer. So we don't actually have to plug in the 0 to the h's at any time, because all the h's cancel and we're just left with 3 as the derivative of 3x plus 1. Alright, so you can see that's pretty simple. Just make sure you just do each individual step. Like just find these and plug them in and then it's just simple algebra from there. All right, we're going to do right, another one. problem we're going to solve. It's going to be 3x squared plus 2x plus 4. Um, all right, so like in the last one, just break it up into steps. We already know what f of x is. f of x is equal to whatever the equation is, 3x plus 2x plus 4. All right, so then we have f of x plus h. Now remember, all you do is just plug in x plus h to where the x's are. Just do 3x plus h squared plus 2x plus h plus 4. Alright. Now you just have a one extra, sort of one extra step or a few extra steps, you'll, you'll see. We just have to FOIL this out, x plus h, which actually comes out to be, I'll do it on the side here, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. All right, so that would be that foiled out, and now you just bring over the three, so you just it would actually turn out to be three x three x squared plus six x h plus three h squared, and now I'm going to distribute the two over over this, so we'll be left with plus two x plus two h plus four. All right, and then let's see if I can cram this in on the side minus 3x squared plus 2x, 2x plus 4. All right, all over h, of course. Don't forget that. My lines are horrible. <laughs> all right, um, don't forget the parentheses. Let's you remember to distribute. Now, we're going to distribute the negative over this. This actually becomes plus well, because the negatives cancel, minus, minus. All right, so now this is the part where we cancel things. It looks like the three x's, x squareds are going to cancel, the other side. The fours are going to cancel, because this is a plus four, negative four. And it looks like the two x's are going to cancel. So we're left with six x h plus 3h squared plus 2h all over h. Now what we have to do now is distribute out the h's on the top. 
so we can cancel out this bottom h because you can't have anything over zero because at this point we'll actually have to plug in h equals zero into this limit. So we'll be left with h 6x plus 3h plus 2 all over h. Now this is where the h's cancel. So we're left with 6x plus 3h plus 2. Now the now you just plug in h equals 0 and the 3's cancels out. Then we're left with 6x plus 2 as the derivative of 3x squared plus 2x plus 4. Now it's it's simple enough. Um, if you need to go look look back at it, you can. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Um, yeah, since it's my first video, uh, hopefully it's it's pretty good. Um, all right, there you go. I'll probably be doing Pascal's triangle next as another uh, tutorial. So uh, thanks, and I'll see you.